Why John Burkow's resignation as Speaker is a parting shot to the government. Sky News Kate McCann says it means the current crop of MPs will pick his successor, not new MPs who could be told how to vote. His term in office has been controversial, and announcing his decision to step down as Speaker today John Burkow ended his time in the chair as it began. His speech divided the Commons, as his speakership has, with the majority of Conservative MPs remaining seated while Labour stood to applaud him following an emotional address. But it was Mr. Burkow's choice of resignation date which caused the biggest ripple of nervous laughter, clapping and groans from the green benches. He announced he will stand down tonight if MPs back a general election, highly unlikely to happen. If not he will leave the chair on the October 31st, otherwise known as Brexit Day. In choosing such a path Mr. Burkow guarantees that the next speaker will be selected by the current parliament, amid concerns that new MPs are more vulnerable to being directed by whips and senior government figures. In leaving he is seeking to ensure members retain a voice by having a speaker willing to stand to number 10 if required. His critics say he has politicized the role, choosing controversial amendments and allowing MPs to take control of parliament in unprecedented times. His supporters, however, say he has used the office of Speaker to defend Parliament at a time when the Commons and the government appear to be locked in a battle with no certain outcome. Either way there has been no shortage of rows and public arguments during his time in office. He was accused of calling former Commons leader Andrea Letsum a stupid woman and allegations about his behaviour towards staff have been repeatedly raised over recent years. But it was his work to modernise Parliament that MPs raised in paying tribute. Joe Swinson, the Liberal Democrat leader, praised his help in introducing proxy voting, allowing MPs to vote without having to appear in the Commons in person, for those who have recently had a baby or are ill. She also thanked him for helping to change attitudes towards women, dress and children in the chamber. Although his decision to allow male MPs to take off their ties will never be forgiven by some. Even his critics thanked him for helping them to hold the executive to account though, an attitude that has produced some of the most dramatic parliamentary moments in years. It is these that will be his lasting legacy.